At ESC Congress 2022, we presented the new guidelines on pulmonary hypertension. And there was actually a true team effort also amongst societies, because in addition to the ESC, um, the, Euro the European Respiratory Society was involved. And there are a couple of key aspects to, to mention. One is that pulmonary hypertension is not a rare condition, but it's actually a frequent phenomenon and even moderate impairment of cardiopulmonary hemodynamics are relevant for mortality. So therefore, uh, we decided to change the hemodynamic definition of pulmonary hypertension, so this is an important update. Furthermore, there's a clinical classification of pulmonary hypertension um, uh, dividing this condition into five main groups, and we highlight the importance to consider this clinical uh, classification of pulmonary hypertension since the treatment approaches for these five groups are fundamentally uh, different. We also give a more detailed um, a guidance on the diagnostic workup. We present a new diagnostic algorithm for the workup of patients with suspected pulmonary hypertension. We give guidance on echocardiography and right heart catheterization. And then we focus on each of these five groups of pulmonary hypertension. In group one, meaning pulmonary arterial hypertension, we provide a new treatment algorithm and we also provide a new risk assessment strategy for um, the management of these patients with PAH. Then we also provide an updated definition of severe pulmonary hypertension in patients with underlying left uh, heart or lung disease um, that is relevant for the management of these patients. We highlight that uh, in the field of pulmonary hypertension associated with left heart disease, we need more research. Um, and in uh, pulmonary hypertension uh, associated with lung disease, group three pulmonary hypertension, there is the first treatment that became available to treat pulmonary hypertension in these patients. And then finally, in patients with chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension, group four, um, we also highlight the necessity to manage these patients in a multidisciplinary team and um, we rate the different treatment modalities in this context. There is a multimodal approach including surgery, interventional therapies and medical therapies um, to take care of these uh, patients. So overall, um, a huge field that has very different aspects um, and I mentioned only a few here within this short amount of time and the rest can be read in the papers in the European Heart Journal and also in the European Respiratory Journal.